Well, hi guys, it is 7demo7. Seven seven. I'm here to show you how to take your EC3s uh, on your battery and swap them over to XT60s with the superior plug. Now what I do is I get my female half here and I just take a rubber band and put it inside of a pliers just so that you can flip it over and get things soldered up. So I'm hopefully going to show you within about a minute, minute and a half or so how to swap these over. It's quite easy. So first thing you want to do is take your soldering iron and get some get your solder and we're going to uh, we're going to deposit a little bit of solder right here just right on the lip there just a little cool flip this guy over we'll do the same thing all right now as you are cutting off the leads to your battery you only want to do that that one at a time so I have my positive lead up. We're going to do the positive first, so I'm going to get this uh, positive lead snipped off here. And going to trim off about three millimeters or so, so that's going to be your lead end. Give it a little twist. And we're going to go ahead and tin the end of this wire. You want to make sure that this is tinned all the way through. And you want to actually put quite a bit of solder on it. From there, take your heat shrink, slide it all the way to the end here. And so take all your extra wires, kind of tuck them back so they're out of the way. And um, take a little bit of solder, put it right on the tip of your iron, just so that it gets things flowing. Stick the two together. And keep joining until finally squishes all the way through. Make sure you've got a nice solder joint there. Hold it for a few seconds. Now while this is still hot, slide your heat shrink tubing over and it should slide right on like that. And it'll actually start to uh, shrink to the proper size. No way to flip this over. Clip off your negative lead. Trim three millimeters, twist, okay lots of solder there, uh, I need my heat shrink tubing, just slide it quickly over the top so it doesn't heat down, and we're going to go ahead and get this through here, what is that bit of something that was there, alright so going to join the two pulls, release and we should be done it's that easy make sure you have a good soldering iron with a nice tip on it okay so you want to push that silicone wire right up to the top to the uh, XT60 plug just like that that's about as perfect uh, a weld as it can go and uh, while it's still hot like I said go ahead and slide this tubing over it'll start to shrink and you can basically slide the heat shrink all the way up into the XT60 plug. And of course, we're going to take our heat gun here. That's it. Okay, so, you know, when I'm not filming this, it takes me all about a, bit, about a minute and a half or two here. So, anyway, I thought I'd give you guys some uh, up-close personal uh, tech on how to switch, swap these over. I'm finally swapping all of mine over to uh, XT60s from EC3. A lot of guys didn't know that you could plug these EC3s right into an XT60 uh, from the uh, battery side to the model side. So anyway, um, hopefully that little tech tip helps you guys out, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.